Okay, obviously you know that Wolverine, Deadpool Wolverine just came out. Um, if you don't know, well, it did. So, awesome. It was a good movie. I went to see it. I went to see it actually probably, I guess, opening night. I went to see it on Thursday. It's now done crazy at the box office. Basically, it's over $200 million at the box office. I think globally it's like over $400, $400 million. I think this article will probably say it, but this is uh, CNN Business talking about it. It is... Uh, the biggest R-rated debut of all time. And let me just read part of this article. It's CNN, so I don't want to get too much into it because they're a dumpster fire, but let's see what they have to say. So Deadpool and Wolverine barreled uh, through the 200 million benchmark, cementing the blockbuster as the record holder for the highest grossing opening weekend for an R-rated movie. Excuse me. According to studio estimates, Deadpool and Wolverine, the 34th movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe lineup, has grossed 205 million in domestic sales and 340 or 380 uh, 38 million uh, globally in its debut. The first Deadpool movie set the record for the highest grossing opening weekend for an R rated film when it was released in 2016 to roughly 132 million, and Deadpool 2 cinched the second place spot with 125 million in domestic sales in 2018. But even adjusted for inflation, both films pale in comparison with the third install installation's debut. Deadpool and Wolverine ne is now also among the top opening weekends ever, ranking at number eight. A hair's breadth below 2012's The Avengers at 207 million, and just above 2018's Black Panther at 202. So, it's uh, it's funny, honestly. The thing about this movie is it's really funny. It's it's uh, it's violent, but it's got that it's got that hokey sort of violence that isn't like super grotesque graphic. I mean, at times it's a little graphic, but it's. It's like, you know, it's that, that, um, that comic type violence, but because of the, the comedy that's just peppered through it, it makes it funny and enjoyable to watch. And I'm not even a big fan of these types of movies. I'm really not a like action genre guy, but Ryan Reynolds in, and, uh, what's his face? Uh, geez, I can't even remember his damn name. Um, uh, Hugh Jackman are just, just, just hilarious together. It's really, really funny. If you haven't already checked it out, if you haven't watched it, if you're not one of the, the many that have checked it out, go, go take a watch. Let me know what you think in the comments.